Hi everybody, good morning. Happy Friday, guys. The TGIF. Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks a lot for waking up. Hey Gerardo, amazing. <laughs> nice to see you here. Ya estaba pensando, llamo Gerardo. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much for um, joining today's class. Jennifer, so happy to see you. Ulises, good morning, Ulises. Ya está afuera. Are you walking already? Ya hizo la caminada de la mañana. Are you on your way? Not today. <laughs> Robert, hey, morning, Robert. Hi, Mr. Quintanilla. Mr. Chacón, hello. Wendy, nice to see you guys. How are you? Christian, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hi, guys. Morning, morning. Morning, so, Miss. Morning. How are you doing? ¿Ya andas caminando? Are you walking already, Ulises? No, I know. <laughs> Not today. Okay, I see. But I'm super excited to see you guys. I'm also very excited because es nuestra sesión número 19. So we are having session number 19 today. Um, el módulo casi se va, así que thank you so much for your attendance. Gracias por compartirme también la, la captura de pantalla de su avance. I'm very excited to see it. Casi todos me la completaron. We are almost done. So, and ready for next module. So thank you so much for that. Uh, today, vamos a hacer un breve repaso de vocabulario. Y tenemos pendiente preguntas con Deris and Derar. Tenemos también preposiciones. So vamos a practicar un poquito prepositions. Um, like in, on, between, next to. Um, no written that much, sino ya como un poco más de, de en uso, right? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo las puedo utilizar? How can I use them? And, and of course, uh, talking and describing them. So that would be just fun. Mm, let me see. Got ten. Linda, good morning. Thanks a lot for joining. Thank you for being here, Miss. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So um, first, eh, antes de, de iniciar, you know, with today's topic, etc. Eh, voy a pasar asistencia. Let me go ahead and take attendance. All right. Um, just to make sure I got everybody here. If was, you know, then we can definitely go ahead and get it started. Uh, un segundito solamente and I open it up okay, there we go there we go gracias por la cámara chicos thank you so much for getting your camera working and activated nice to see you there good morning thank you so much, good morning how are you? fine, thank you, are you? Um, okay. <laughs> Today is Friday, you know. I really love Fridays. Sí trabajo el fin de semana, but I really love Fridays because me hacen sentir como, ah, es menos tiempo, you know, ya, ya casi termina, it's almost done. So I like them a lot. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, so solamente me regalan confirmación, please. Let me uh, have your confirmation. Uh, Christian, llevaba Christian por ahí, so thank you so much. Present, present. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Eunice. Okay, Gerardo. I'm here. Thank you so much. Helen. Jennifer. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Ulises? Present. Thank you. Jorge? Roberto? Present. Gracias. Linda? Present. Thank you. Janet? Luis me? Mr. Quintanilla. Present. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Luis. Me. Mr. Quintanilla. Present. There we go. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Chacón. 
question is morning. Yes, morning. Vane. Uh, Wendy. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. Cruz. Um, Mr. Sandoval. Present. Here Present. we go. Thank you so much. Hey, Mr. Galicia. Okay, there we go. So, thank you guys. Thank you for the confirmation. And um, I'm missing a couple. All right. And so, let's get started uh, right now. So, first, uh, we are going to get started here with a little activity. Well, el día de ahora tenemos, de hecho, one on one con Gerardo. So, Gerardo, si um, me puede arreglar un par de minutitos at the end, that would be just fun. Se lo agradezco. Um, si necesitas salir or anything, me avisa y una para poder hacer el cambio con alguien más, right? So, um, to get started, guys, we are going to get started with this little activity. So, se llama Just No Game. I don't know si alguna vez lo han hecho, but I just need your full participation here. I'm going to be calling your name. So, voy a decir como un nombre. I'm going to tell your name. And what I want you to do is the following. It says here, listen to your teacher um, and answer the questions. Okay. Listen to the questions I will be asking. Pero solo hay como una condición. You cannot answer using yes or no. O sea, no puede responder ni sí ni no. Okay. <laughs> you cannot say yes or no. What do I mean by this? Whatever question I ask you, debe de inventarse la respuesta. Or you can find a way to answer this sin decir sí o no. Okay. So if I ask you, for example, um, hey, Roberto, are you married? que Roberto se lo pensó mucho. <laughs> okay. No, so, I, no, no, I don't marry. Okay, okay, wait a second, wait a second. So, Roberto, you can say whatever, puede responderme como sea, pero no me puede responder ni sí ni no. You cannot say yes or no. So, it's like, oh, I really love my wife, you know, or I am single, I mingle, whatever, you know. You can say anything. Uh, es como dar una respuesta larga, right? But, no puede decir ni sí ni no. What is going to happen? So what is going to happen if you say yes or no? You will get a penalty. Okay. Va a tener una penalidad. But let's establish this penalty because a penalty no tiene que ser como un castigo or anything. Uh, it's just for us to practice. So if you say yes or no, the penalty uh, can be like a little fun. So puede ser como sing a song in English for five seconds, right? Que nos cante una canción por cinco segundos or something like this. So um, I really need you active because guys, tienen tres segundos. You have three seconds to answer it, okay? Si no respondemos en tres segundos, uh, aplica la penalidad. So let me, let me start writing in the, uh, let me start refreshing this up. Tienen tres segundos. You have only three seconds to answer it. Desde el momento que les pregunta, right? <laughs> so if I go with, um, hey, Luis, me, okay, uh, do you have cats? One, two, three. So tiene solo tres segundos, Luis, me, para poder responder. If he doesn't do it, le aplica la pena, do you know? Uh, that is number one. <laughs> And the second is, no puede obviamente decir sí o no, he cannot say yes or no. Because la penalidad aplica. So, ¿qué, ¿cómo puedo responder entonces? How can I answer this? Well, tell me anything. If I ask you, do you like cats? So you can tell me like, I really hate them. I love them. They are my favorite pets. No me dijo sí, pero ya me respondió que sí, you know. Um, or do you have dogs? Um, I don't really have dogs, but my sister has one, for example. So me puede dar respuestas largas. I'm okay with that. Lo que no me puede decir es sí o no. You know, you cannot say yes or no. You can say like, of course, sure, absolutely, uh, no way, that's impossible, you know, whatever answer you can find. Guys, más o menos, are we good? Are we clear? Okay. 
Eh, so, ¿estamos bien? Ready. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, nice. Um, so, one second. So, uh, remember, tienen tres segundos para responder. You got three seconds to answer. Otherwise, de, de otra manera, right? La penalidad va a ser esa, you know? Sing a song. Cántenos un pedazo de canción. Sing a piece of your song or whatever song, but in English, all right? So, let me get started here. Remember, no pueden decir ni si no. <laughs> you cannot say yes or no. Mm. Okay, let me go ahead with Ulises. Ulises, do you like chocolate? Uh, I have chocolate in my house, in eating in my world. Do you um, like cookies? Chocolate cookies? No, it's cho black oh. chocolate. <laughs> that was a no. <laughs> That was a no. No puede decir no, you cannot say no. Well, this is a very good answer. That was good. Oh, muy buen inicio de por cierto. Very good. Like, start. Hizo trampa porque hizo dos preguntas. No. Y solo era una. No, no necesariamente una. No necessarily one. The idea is, you know, to keep on asking. No, but you got it, you got it. But era el primero. One, that, one was, question. that was the warm-up. No, son questions. <laughs> okay, that is the warm-up. You know, para que luego everybody pays uh, like a lot of attention to it. Pero super bien, super bien. Okay, let me let me change it. Okay, you did it super nicely. So just remember, no pueden decir yes or no. Okay, next. Um, Mr. Chacon, let me go with you. So, uh, Mr. Chicoin, are you in your house right now? One, two. Sorry, sir. Yeah, are you in your house right now? Are you in your house? Uh, in the house. Mm -hmm. Are you at home? In the street. Oh. <laughs> se, se quedó pensando. <laughs> okay, yeah, I noticed that. Okay, I noticed that. So, <clears throat> Mr. Chacon, to give you, like, um, I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you, no worries. But to give you como some heads up here. Um, so, cualquier pregunta que le haga, no me puede decir ni si ni no. You cannot say yes or no. So, inventase whatever answer, like, of course, I am a, I'm still sleeping, I'm still at bed, I'm still in my house, whatever. No, I puedo decir ni si ni no, all right? So, that's the one. Okay, Christian, I'll go with you, Christian. So, um, Christian, do you like your job? I love it. Okay. Um, do you study at the university? I one, two, three. <laughs> okay, time is <laughs> over, Christian. You get the first right. La primera super bien. <laughs> the second one that was too much. <laughs> Se quedó pensando, but you did it nicely. You did it nicely. Though uh, you do have a penalty. <laughs> Okay, so um, the penalty, as I said before, is como cantar un pedacito, like three seconds, five seconds of your, of the chorus, right? Of the chorus of a song. So, uh, guys, can you tell him a song? O oh, ustedes coge la canción, you can choose your song. Of course, in English, mm -hmm. uh, don't choose like reggaeton or anything. So, in English, please. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Think a, a little bit and regresa con usted with your song. <laughs> okay, so you can um, think a little bit about it. Okay. 
Um, I got with do, 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 a girl, Linda. Hi, Linda. Morning. Morning. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let me ask you this question. Um, do you do you live in San Salvador? Uh, San Salvador, Soyapango. Oh, okay. Um, is it is it hot there? Is Soyapango hot? Whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, are you a cashier? I love you, cashier. Oh, okay. Hey, that was nice. <laughs> okay, that was nice. Good, very good. Uh, Mr. Sandoval, hi, morning. I have some questions for you, Mr. Sandoval. Ready? Are, are you driving right now, uh, William? <coughs> I think he's driving. Okay. Gerardo, I'll go with you then. <clears throat> okay. So I see your microphone ready. Okay. Uh, Gerardo, do you like horror movies? I love to watch movies. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Do you like the movie It? Can you repeat? Please? Yes. Do you like the movie It? A little bit. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, what about romantic movies? Do you like romantic movies? Mm, I think the romantic movie is boring, but depend. Uh, uh, okay, nice. That was a nice answer. Okay. Okay, cool, nice. Jennifer, let me go with you, Jennifer. No penalty for you, very good. <laughs> so lead answer nicely too. Okay, Jennifer, let me go with you. Uh, Jennifer, do you drink coffee every day? I drink coffee. Okay, do you like to put sugar on your coffee? <laughs> I I put on. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, do you drink more than three cups of coffee? I drink um, two coffee, two a cup of coffee. Two every day? Every day. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> that was all right. That was very good. Uh, Jorge, good morning, Jorge. Morning, morning. Creo que estaba activando su audio. Ok, there we go. Um, Luis, me. Hi, Luis, me. Luis, me. Está por acá. Are you here? Yes. yes. There we go. There we go. Cool. So, um, as you listened before, so I'm going to ask you whatever question, pero no puede decir ni si no, no. Ok, you cannot say yes or no. Um, so, Luis, me. Um, are you single? Yes, I'm single. That was a yes. <laughs> I... <laughs> you cannot say yes or no. Okay. Listen, me, you get a penalty. Christian no debe la penalty. So the penalty is super easy. Luis, me, son cinco segundos. Sing a song or sing the chorus of a song for five seconds. Whatever song you choose, but in English, of course. Puede ser desde el happy birthday, you know, and whatever. <laughs> Christian, Ay, I'll come back to mal. you antes que se me olvide, before I forget. Estoy malo cantando. No, yo no sé Really? Yeah. Oh, I remember you said yes. Guys, tell us. I, I don't remember well. I think you said yes. Okay. Okay, so in the meantime, uh, Luis me. So, puede ser desde el happy birthday, you know, not necessarily something very complicated. Bueno, entonces, happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Bye. Yes. <laughs> no, but you have a beautiful intonation. 
That was a very good, <laughs> beautiful pronunciation because normally birthday, uh, les cuesta algunos pronunciarlo. You did it nicely. Thank you so much. I see the guys' oh. emojis right there. So cool. Very cool. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, los demás me faltan. So wait a minute. <laughs> Vamos a continuar. We're, we are going to continue and then we're going to like go ahead and check this out for you. So nicely. You did it super, super nicely. All right. Um, mm -mm. Okay, there we go. So um, let's get started with part of the things that we are going to be checking today. Eh, solo para darles like a little roundabout, eh, un poquito de, de recap here. Uh, remember places in town, we were checking these places. Uno de ellos era gas station. Eh, we had the roundabout. And if you remember, a roundabout era un redondel, right? Also, we have an ATM that is a cajero automático. And the last one is a city hall or an alcaldía, right? Just for you to have them super fresh. Today, vamos a revisar un poquito la parte de there is and there are, pero en negative y también en preguntas. No hemos practicado preguntas that much, so vamos a practicarlas today. We are going to be checking that out. Uh, first, antes de iniciar with questions or anything, vamos a re revisar un poquito um, prepositions, right? Um, with prepositions, remember, tenemos como algunas expresiones. We have a couple of expressions that we can use para eh, indicar la posición de algo. So to talk about where something is located. Yeah. Uh, so first, I need your help. Vamos a hacer un pequeño recap de las prepositions. Take a look at the picture you have. And for example, I have number one. So number one. ¿Qué preposición representa? What does it represent? If you check, you have the box y luego está la estrella. So, ¿la estrella dónde está? Where is the start? On. Okay, on. All right. Está sobre, right? That is on. What about number two? How would you call this? Under. Under. Exactly. Very good. Number three, casi no se ve. So, number three, where is it? Behind. Mm -hmm. There we go. Number four. Está como así, you know? So, number four is? Next to. Next to. Very good. Very good. Number five. Está enfrente. How do you say enfrente? In front. In front. Mm -hmm. In front. No, very good. Number six. Oh, tengo dos. I have two. Pero a la estrella. Where is the star? Between. Between. Exactly, that's between. All right. Now, tenemos un par que no hemos visto, so let's take a look at this. Number seven, for example. In number seven, es diferente from number one, because number one toca la superficie, but in number seven, no lo está tocando. So, esto es como, for example, here, si yo tuviera atrás, right, um, aire acondicionado o una pintura, está como sobre mí, right? Pero en ningún momento me toca, uh, you know, my head or anything. So, ¿cómo le llamo a esta? Take a look at letter I. Esa se llama above, ¿ya? Yeah? So, above es sobre, pero sin tocar, all right? Do you have something about you? ¿Qué está sobre ustedes? What is above you? Above me is the ceiling. Arriba de mí está el techo, like the ceiling. What about in your case? ¿Qué tiene sobre ustedes? Is that a, a second floor or do you have, o hay como una pintura, like, not necessarily this way, puede estar como en la pared, it can be like on the wall, so eso sería above. ¿Tienen algo above? I just only, I only have the ceiling, solo tengo como el cielo, right? Um, ¿Tienen algo? No? Nothing? A ceiling. The ceiling too, okay. So el cielo oh. falso, right? The ceiling, okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, or the roof, o oh, en tal caso sería como el techo, the roof. Okay, okay, cool. Take a look at the next one. Um, number eight is bastante similar. For example, number two, lo toca, so this is under. Pero number eight, no lo toca. It doesn't, you know, touch any surface. So, como cuando hay, yesterday, recuerdo que ustedes mencionaron, eh, por ejemplo, Metro Sur, 
eh, de Your Story Metro Sur está sobre eh, Super Selectos, pero en ningún momento lo toca, right? So es como bien, bien abajo. So that is exactly the example with number eight. So a ese, to this one, le vamos a llamar below. Below, exactly. That is below. Yeah, so you can say Super Selectos is below us. Está debajo de nosotros. Like en un segundo piso, tercer piso, that applies. So below, debajo, right? Number nine. What about number nine? Take a look at this one. ¿Qué aplica con este? What happens with number nine? Auntie. Number nine is very interesting porque está como en medio. Está como en medio. La estrella está en medio de todos ellos. How do we call that? In the middle. In the middle. Ok. In the middle. Pero también puede ser eh, letter H. In the middle. Está en medio de algo. Or also it can be among. Right? So it can be among or in the middle. So that's dentro de. All right. Uh, you have like more words here. For example, number 10. Se parece bastante number one. So, puede ser on, right? O también algunas veces podemos usar over. So, on and over se parecen bastante. We can use them, definitely. Um, number 11. So, how can I use on the number left. 11? On the left, on the right. Mm, ok, on the left, on the right. Podría aplicarse también a la número 13. So, for example, mm -hmm. this one is on the left. And this one is on the right. The right. So, right, derecha, left, izquierda. En mi pantalla creo que se ve al revés. But you got the idea. Ok. Ok, very good. Those are part of the prepositions, just for us to have an idea. And uh, pretty much those are the ones that we have. And remember, la última palabra que tenemos acá, near, so near es cerca, no necesariamente a la par, sino cerca, right? Um, so here, aplica para todos. <laughs> so there is no like a condition or anything. Near es cualquier cosa que esté cerca. All right. Uh, we are going to practice this in a bit, but solo quería hacer como un recap. Okay, guys, let's review the reason there are a little bit to complete the sentences. No las vamos a escribir. We are not going to write them down because I want you to think about them y que los hagamos más rápido. For example, number one. ¿Qué puedo utilizar con number one? There is or there are. Number there one. Is. There is. Yes, there is. Number two. A calendar on the wall. There is or there are? There are. There are. All right. Eh, or there is. <ríe> so, les voy a dar una clave. Siempre que vean la A o la AN, uh, eso representa is. singular. Mm -hmm. So, always when you see A or AN, that represents singular. So, there is. Yeah. There is a bag on the table. There is a calendar on the wall. All right. Number three. Uh, uh, Unis, number three. There it is. Uh, like two posters in my room. It's plural. Mm -hmm. It is plural, exactly. Yeah. So, con plural, vamos a utilizar there are, right? So there are two posters in my room. All right, there we go. Number four, a banana in this basket. There is or there are, guys? There is. There is a banana, exactly. Now, um, Jonathan, Ulysses, what about num uh, this one, number five? Six chairs in the kitchen. There are. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are, very good. Uh, Mr. Galicia? Lots of books. Uh, or Janet. Veo a Janet Lista. <laughs> yes, exactly. So there are a lo lots of books. Mm -hmm. A mirror. There it is. 
Mm-hmm. There is. All right. 12 cushions on the sofa. There are. There are, exactly. Aunque no sepa qué significa, if I say 12, it's more than obvious. So this is a there are. Cushions, guys, son como las, los, uh, los cojines. Mm-hmm. Como las almohaditas pequeñitas that you put on the sofa. So 12 cushions on the mm. sofa. Mm-hmm. Number nine, a big wardrobe. There is. There is. What is the meaning of wardrobe? What is a wardrobe? Alguna vez vieron Narnia? Have you ever seen Narnia? Es ropero. Ajá, uh-huh, exactly. So wardrobe is a ropero. Or a closet. And number 10, children in the yard. There is or there are children? There is. There are. Esa está, está como bien tricky. There, are. Mm-hmm. there is or there are? There are. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Now, how do you say, ¿cómo hacemos niños? How do you say niño? Boy. O, I mean, niño o niña. <laughs> how do you say niño o niña? Pero uno. Children is a plural, is a singular. Mm, pero me dijeron there are. So this is very interesting because children, la palabra children ya es plural. No le puedo agregar S. I cannot add S. So, si quiero decir niños, I say children. Los niños, children. Okay. Tengo dos niños, o dos hijos, o dos hijas. I have two children. Porque ya es plural. No le podemos agregar S. Entonces, ¿cuál es el singular? What is the singular word for children? ¿Cómo digo tengo un hijo? ¿O tienes un hijo? I have a son. I have a son. I have a girl. I have a girl, pero sin género. Child. Child, exactly. Child. Exactly. So you can make it very general. No, no es necesario eh, agregarle el género. I mean, it's super cool, pero también podemos preguntar child. Do you have a child? Do you have a baby? Porque si le pregunto, ¿tienes un hijo o una hija? No, es no. como, <laughs> no, he said, okay. I have a child, hasta acá. Y el plural es children. So, ya no lleva eso, right? Very nice, very nice. Okay, guys. So, um, we were like practicing um, a little bit the part of positive, negative. Así que le recordemos un poquito. Tenemos the reason that are. Yeah, so we have the reason that are. Y siempre es necesario que le agreguemos un cuantificador. There are. So, con there is. Voy a utilizar ahora, right? Siempre necesito ponérselos. En with there are, ¿cómo digo algunos? Como hay algunos. There are? Son. Son, ok, very good. Si quiero decir hay muchos, there are? What? Mm, Había otra palabrita. A lot. A lot, exactly. A lot. There are a lot of. Mm-hmm. So if I say, for example, oh, in my house, there are a lot of books, there are a lot of uh, plates and a lot of dishes, okay? So there are a lot of, there are some, so, pero necesito agregarle una palabra. O oh, el número, there are two, there are three, there are four. Eso es compositivo. Negative sentences. Negative sentences son bastante fáciles también. Solo lo hago negativo, there isn't, right? There are in, y eso es todo. Pero veíamos en la clase anterior que voy a utilizar la palabra any, ok, también para enfatizar un poquito. So the word any me ayuda para decir ninguno. No hay ninguno. There isn't any, ok, or there aren't any. So if I ask you, for example, all right, hey guys, is there, um, I don't know, is there a coffee table in your room? Tienen como una mesita de esas pequeñitas, mesa de noche. Do you have, is there a coffee table in your room? And you come and you say, no, no hay ninguna. Oh, there isn't any, right? So, no. para no hacerlo largo, uh-huh, you can say there isn't any coffee table or there isn't any. Any, es como el nombre de una persona, right? De Ana, so any. Okay. ¿Estamos bien con las negativas? Are we good with them? 
Okay. I guess that's a yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Ok, ok, cool. Now, guys, ¿qué sucede con las preguntas? What happens with questions? Questions son bastante fáciles. ¿Qué voy a hacer con una equation? Voy a cambiar el orden de las dos primeras partes. There is se convierte en is there. Y eso es todo. Is there. Y como es una pregunta, yo puedo agregarle el any aquí para estar seguro si hay algún o alguna. Is there any? Hay algún, hay alguna, ¿ok? So, nega, eh, con el are es lo mismo. Are there any? Ok. Y luego pregunto el qué, right? Uh, for example, is there any armchair? Is there any armchair in your uh, living room? So, guys, is there any armchair in your living room? What was the meaning of armchair? ¿Alguien se recuerda? Do you remember? No, armario. Mm, no. ¿Qué te parece? Eh, sillón. sillón. Mm -hmm, exactly. Es una silla, eh, pero de las, de las individuales, uh -huh. right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. De las que tienen como el espacio para poner sus brazos. An armchair. Is there an armchair in your living room? So, I, I was telling these guys yesterday, um, in English, no tenemos como juego de sala. No, no es, oh, tal vez sí existe la palabra como un living room set, pero cada uno de los sillones tiene un nombre. For example, in Spanish, lo llamamos sillón, but in English, no. Tenemos sofa, que es el grande. Tenemos armchair, que es el individual para una persona. Y si fuera para dos personas, le llamamos un... Uy, me faltó. Le llamamos un love seat, right? Que es para dos love personas. Mm -hmm. So, armchair, sofa, and love seat. Son los tres. Tienen un nombre específico. So, is there an armchair in your living room? Tienen, like, sillones individuales? ¿Cómo respondo? Super fácil. So, yes, there is. Yes, there are. No, there isn't. No, there aren't. Y eso es todo. And that's it. Ok. Um, con are there, es lo mismo. Are there any plants in your house? Guys, are there any plants? ¿Tienes plantitas? Yes, there is. Yes, there are. No, there isn't. Yes, there is. Ok, there is only one. Eh... Uh... Much. Entonces yes, utilizamos are. el there are, exactly. Oh, no. There are. There, there, are, are. there, are, there, are. there, there are, are some. Are. Hay algunas o hay muchas. There are a lot of plants. ¿Cuál de las dos? There are a lot of. Ah, nice, nice. Okay. In my house, there are some plants. Not a lot, but there are some plants. Okay. I have a chili tree. I have a lemon tree. Y luego solo flores. <laughs> And I have a lot of flowers. Okay. Okay, guys. So, vamos con preguntas. Let's go with questions. I'm going to give you five minutes. Okay. Y quiero que piensen en, en un par de preguntas. Um, I will be asking you like cinco preguntas. That would be okay. That would be fine. Again, si este tema es bastante fácil para ustedes, no les escriban. Don't write them down. Um, si pueden armarlas. Eh, como digamos en el aire si ya las pueden armar pues intentemos hacerlo sin escribirlo but si necesita la confianza de escribirlo para luego poder pronunciarlo, no hay ningún problema feel free de poder escribirlas, tienen, no, cinco minutos es mucho <ríe> I'll give you four, three or four so I'll give you three or four minutes hagamos cinco preguntas, let's prepare five questions please pueden ser de su casa, pueden ser de la comunidad, about your neighborhood Uh, de su eh, tienda, about your store, eh, about your room, so anything, any place you want. Tres minutos, guys, three minutes.
One more minute. Okay, guys, so um, ya casi terminan. Are you almost done? Necesitan más tiempo. Do you need more time? ¿Cuántas tienen? How many do you have? How many do you have, guys? Um, Eunice, how many do you have? Christian, how many guys? Do you need more time? Necesitan más tiempo. Or is everybody ready? Todos están listos. Um, no sé si el silencio es por confirmación you know? <laughs> o porque se quedaron dormidos. <laughs> so, <laughs> how many guys are we missing? Jonathan, Robert, Gerardo. I have three questions. <laughs> you get three. Okay, I'll give you one more minute. <laughs> Yeah, I said probably these guys, you know, se quedaron dormidos en el proceso. <laughs> okay. So I'll give you one more minute.
Okay, guys, so listen up. We are going to, uh, if you have like three, four questions, five questions, that is just fine. So we can start with that. Listen up. Uh, vamos a ir a los grupos. We are going to move to the groups. Um, and I'm going to explain you, I'm going to explain to you why los grupos son importantes. Um, as you may already realize, um, las dos horas de clases no son suficientes. They are not enough um, to learn tanto como quisiéramos in a module. So, el grupo de clase, what it's going to help us with is con la parte de socialización. You know that uh, as another language, no hay forma de decir voy a aprenderlo por mi propia cuenta o me voy a memorizar algo ya y, y pues ya voy a hablar, right? La única forma de saber si es, lo estoy haciendo bien es que le diga a alguien más, que hable con alguien más y que esa persona me escuche y me entienda. Si me entendió, right, ya completé mi objetivo que es el de comunicación, pero es la única forma, this is the only way. And besides, necesitamos trabajar y educar nuestro oído. So when we go to the groups, the idea is that, you know, ir educando el oído, listening, helping, you know. Um, y pues, si ya le comprendí al compañero qué es lo que me preguntó, solamente me debo, debo de trabajar en cómo responderle. So what I want you to do is ask the questions to your classmates, right? Pero no se limiten con un yes, there is, yes, there are, or no, there isn't, there isn't any, sino que den respuestas largas. You already know, ya saben cómo es hacer descripciones con there isn't, there are. Así que, you know, go ahead and do it. For example, el, eh, si alguien me pregunta, is there an armchair in your living room? So, le puedo decir colores, le puedo decir adjetivos, I can give you a lot of information. Like, yes, in my living room, there are three armchairs. They are color red, I think. And they are, comf they are old, but very comfortable. So I like them a lot, you know. So con una pregunta super simple, ya di más información. So I want you to give as much information as possible. Mm, the next question, for example, says, are there any plants in your house? No solo yes or no, sino expandan un poquito más. Uh, yeah, there are some plants. Also, there are some flowers. Oh, no, no hay ninguna porque no me gustan. No, there are in plants because I don't like them. Or no, there are in plants because my house is very small and I don't have a space. So if you listen to my description, no necesito vocabulario rebuscado, complicated, para poder dar un poquito más de información. So guys, uh, let's give it a try. Voy a estarlos escuchando. I'm going to be eh, joining. Voy a unirme a sus sesiones tú. Eh, en caso que necesiten ayuda or anything. So, los invito a la, a la sesión ahorita. Let me invite you over. We have five minutes. Hagamos tantas preguntas como podamos. Y si no tienen las cinco, no se preocupen. You know, inventen más. So, make up more questions. Vamos a improvisarlas un poquito. You know? So, vámonos. Let's go, guys. Five minutes. We got five minutes.
Ajá. Voy a Madalena, ajá. Responda. Ajá. Ulises, ¿qué ya, ya respondió Ulises. No, respondió al lado. Va. Va a responderme usted, vaya. There is a shirt in the chit chit Al revés, mano. ¿Cómo al revés? Is there. Ah, cierto. No. Y, ah, cierto, sí es una pregunta, ¿va? Uh -huh. Señor. Tiene señor. razón, tiene razón, mi señor. Le preguntaste uh -huh. si tiene camisas. Is there shirt? Ajá. Shirt, no, shirt. No, shirt, sí, es. Shirt. shirt. Sí, ah. Ajá. Sí, ajá. Sí, ajá. The is shirt and the shit, shit, creo que se pronuncia. Chick, de cocina, ¿va? Oh, shit. Shit. No. Yeah. Chicken. 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 No, no chicken es kitchen, cocina. Ajá. Es que es kitchen. Kitchen. Chicken, chicken, okay. pollo. Kit. Oh, <laughs> yes, a mí lo que sucede no, es que eso se parece. The kitchen. Ah, ok. Uh, yes, there are in, uh, one, two, five, five chairs. In the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Very good, mi estimado. Va, va a lanzar una, la salva. Yes, Are yes, there yes. any a pet in your house? Yes, I have. I'm part of. Uh, yes, I do. Is named Bison. Bison. Yes, Bison. Okay. Uh, and your parrot, Christian. What is its name? Perico de los Verdes. Uh, Pericos. No, I mean the, the name. Do you have? Does it have a name? His name is Lalo. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's a Lalo. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. Need the Bluetooth. Hi guys. Hello. Hello. Morning. Creo que me llamaron. I think you called me. We have Help me this question. Help me, sure. Oh, I like it. Le pusieron una carita feliz. Okay. Tell me what's your question. Uh, it's about uh, there is a negative. Por, por ejemplo, Acá usted puso, is there any? Entonces, la pregunta que nosotros tenemos es, ¿el any se puede usar como positivo o negativo o solo con preguntas negativas? Eh, yeah, el any es exclusivo de preguntas y de negativas. En positivas nunca las podemos utilizar. Because el any me da una idea, eh, como, how can I explain it? El, el any es bastante negativo, de hecho. So, la idea de any ya me indica something negative. But in this specific case, um, so lo utilizo el, en negativas para enfatizar ninguno. Yeah? For example, I can say, in my house, no hay ningún animal. No hay ningún... Okay. So there isn't any pet. Solo como enfatizar para estar segura, you know? Um, no tengo nada de dinero. <laughs> I don't have any money. So, enfatizo el hecho que no hay. In questions, el any es un poco más neutral. Le pregunto como algún o alguna. Is there oh, okay. any, uh -huh. is there any garage in your house? Is there any TV in your room? Is there any computer there? O si le pregunto, por ejemplo, eh, no sé, en la tienda, por ejemplo, imagínese que le están preguntando de alguna mercadería en específico. So, like, Is there any stock left, right? 
So, el N es como algún o alguna, es mucho más eh, general, más neutro, pero en positivas, mm, to be honest with you, creo que nunca la he escuchado, como there is any. Uh -huh. no, no tendría como mucho sentido, that wouldn't make sense. So, negativas okay. y preguntas. Uh -huh. Pero entonces en la pregunta cambia el significado, como de, de decir algún. Sí, cambia, ah, es más neutro, porque como no sé, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. My question is because yo no estoy segura. So, imagínese eh, con, con eso, con la mercadería. I ask you, for example, is there any, hay alguna caja guardada? Is there any box left? So, el N acá sí es mucho más general, es algún o alguna. Y oh, en negativo, como, ningún o ninguna. Sería como también para que la respuesta sea como más completa. Que digamos, dice yes. Y, por ejemplo, tengo una caja pequeña, una grande y una mediana. O solo tengo tres del mismo tamaño. Uh, well, decir algo? I mean, um, yeah, of course, you can do it. Solo que no, no, esas son preguntas de sí no. These are just no questions. Um, so, significa que no espero realmente una respuesta larga o una explicación. Um, so, su respuesta está súper bien. Your answer is súper, súper cool. Pero yo también puedo responder solamente como, uh, yes. <ríe> y, y murió, you know. Ya me respondió lo que le pedí. Uh -huh. So, if, uh, volviendo con la misma pregunta. Is there any box left? Y su respuesta es súper completa porque ella me da detalles. Oh, yeah, um, there is a small box. Súper bien. Pero usted me puede responder solo, oh, yeah, there is one. Or, okay. yes, there is. Y está también ok, you know. Porque mi pregunta solo es si sí hay o no hay. ¿Ya? Yeah. If I ask you, for example, imagínense que va um, a ir a comprar, you know, para la semana. You're checking your refrigerator. Y alguien le llama, mira, hay, no sé, hay rinzo, hay jabón en la casa. Is there any soap? Is there any washing powder? So la pregunta es bien específica, sí o no. Pero también usted puede dar más detalles. Mm. Oh, yeah, there is one. Oh, there is a little. Oh, yeah, hay bastante. There is a lot, you know. So, esa es la idea. No sé si, you know. I sí, made it clear. La, la, la pregunta era de, del any, porque según lo que entendimos, el any es negativo, ¿verdad? O sea, mm -hmm. entonces en la pregunta queríamos saber qué significado tenía, porque si la pregunta es positiva o, o digamos, neutra, como usted dice, Uh -huh. porque estaba el N ahí entonces okay. no sabíamos en qué, en qué forma la podíamos, lo podíamos usar pero como ya nos explicó que es algún o alguno eh, que se puede usar así entonces ya, ya ahí ya caímos to be, yeah, to be honest with you lo que sucede es que normalmente no se traduce eh, uh -huh. ya yeah, lo, lo que pasa es que la duda creo que surge al momento de cómo la voy a entender right <ríe> o cómo la uh -huh. puedo traducir uh -huh. so I totally get it. Pero solamente eh, remember that is there any es solo para empatizar y para estar seguro, you know, que no hay algo, you know. So, esa es la idea. Algún, alguna o negativa, ningún y ninguna. Uh -huh. Okay. That is the one. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. So, please continue. <laughs> <laughs> ok, entonces... Puede seguir, Wendy. <risa> ¿A quién le tocaba? ¿A quién le tocaba la siguiente? A la Jenny. Right. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué quieren que yo pregunte? No, no, la pregunta. Yo iba a hacer la pregunta. Unos huevitos. Con... Hágame una pregunta. Entonces... Is there any in your living room? Ah, espérenme, 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 me comí el pedacito. Ajá, uh -huh, yo ya. Yeah, es que... <risa> no, 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 no voy a hacer la otra. Yeah, yes, es que no me acuerdo, yes. no me acuerdo qué iba a poner ahí. <risa> Lo dejé en blanco. Is there any motorcycle in your garage? There is a 
motorcycle. Motorcycle dijo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. uh, there is a motorcycle in my garage. What is the mark? Onda. <laughs> I like Onda. Cool. I like it. Can you ride motorcycle? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you need to say yes. yes. Uh, I mean, uh -huh, yes or, okay. or, or no, right? I mean, it's okay. <laughs> No, ya no estamos jugando con no, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm, you're good. <laughs> okay. Can you can you ride a motorcycle, guys? Yep. Gerardo, you can. Yep. Okay. Girls, what Wendy about you? And Jenny, Wendy and Jenny too. Oh, really? <laughs> Wow, nice. I I need I need two motorcycles. <laughs> Jenny, okay. No, but you can ride a motorcycle. Wow, that's nice. Jenny, can you ride a motorcycle too? Es que tengo la moto, pero esto ya no puedo. Muy bien, muy bien. Okay, that's my story. <laughs> Yeah, I relate to that a lot, you know. Me siento identificado. No, in the room, la tiene guardada. Is congratulations on the bed. You know, I, I super relate to your story, Jennifer. Me pasa lo mismo. The same happens to me. <laughs> you know, like one month ago, I said, I'm going to buy a motorcycle. But the crazy thing is, yo no puedo. No, si, ni siquiera bicicleta. <laughs> I can ride. I, I cannot ride even a bicycle. So. Oh, there you go. What brand is that? What is the brand? Pardon? The, the brand, like La Marca. What, what is the brand? Honda. Is, is that an Oh, no kidding. So, I bought, yo también compré una Honda. I bought a Honda Navi motorcycle, pero soy muy pequeña. I think I'm just too short y no alcanzo. No, so, no. O sea, que tiene la misma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Bienvenida so, al clan. <laughs> so, but it, it's, it's crazy. No, but, but, but you know, um, so I, on, because I had vacation, so I said, okay, on vacation, voy a aprender. And you know what? Aprendí a andar en bicicleta. So I can ride a bicycle now. Like in one day I learned pero no, no motocicleta. Así que when Jennifer said, uh, my motorcycle es como un adorno, I was like, yeah, mine too. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> no, Jennifer, tenemos que aprender. We have to learn. Yes. Damos, damos clases con Gerardo de, de, de conducción. Yeah. You know what? Creo que me va a tocar pagar because in my house nadie tiene tiempo y siento que voy a ir a chocar. <laughs> no, I feel no, I'm going to crash. Me va a parecer una locura, pero cuando yo me llevé la moto, nunca había manejado una moto. Pero sí podía andar en bicicleta. Sí. Because I think in a way, bicycle le ayuda con el equilibrio. So it helps you a lot with the balance. So, y es como una bicicleta, you know, especially because they are automatic. So... But, okay, oh my God. Pero ahora sí tiene licencia. Do you have a license? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yo tengo cuatro años de tener la moto oh. y de tener licencia tengo más porque antes tenía carro. No, no, but I mean, la, la uh, license de la bicicleta, de la motocicleta, like from the motorcycle. Sí, 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 la dos. Oh, oh, cool, yeah. Yeah, because that, that's, a, that's another thing. I mean, I have for car, but not for motorcycle. Y creo que se hace todo el proceso, right? Yeah. 
you have to take the exams again. Yes. Eh, is, yeah. Two licencias siempre. O sea, siempre son dos, no es la misma para los. Mm -hmm. para los y tiene que hacer todo, ajá, todo el proceso, right? All the process again. Okay. Th that's why I'm like, mm, I need to learn. Debo de aprender bien. I need to learn better. So voy a considerar lo de las clases. <laughs> so, <laughs> y de repente vamos a armar un grupo, you know, with Jennifer and everything. <laughs> okay. Ten tenemos que ir a, a comer pupusas en una rodada. También Robert, Robert da clases también. Oh, really? Robert can, can ride a bike, a motorcycle too? Yeah, so it, it, I, I think it's better. Do you prefer car or motorcycle? What do you prefer? Or motorcycle. Why? Why it depends? Because if you want to go with your family, mm -hmm. it's necessary yeah. to car. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, that's a good point. Only you mm -hmm. and the motorcycle. Yeah, and also the price, right? Yeah. So it's super economic, you know, because in a car, uh, uh, my, my brothers, all my brothers, they have motorcycle. So they spend, gastan como tres dólares. They spend yeah, like three yeah. dollars per week. Yeah. And oh my God, in a car, especially right now with a car, so tres dólares se le van en un pedacito, you know? So... Mm. Yeah, so that's why. That was the only reason uh, por la cual cambié el carro por la moto, pero no puedo. <laughs> <laughs> Con tres so, dólares voy y vengo al, adelante del Mahawat. No, wow. Y todavía no hay cada gasolina. Wow, okay, okay. That, that's super cool. So, hopefully. I, I, I entraba al grupo perfecto ahorita. <laughs> So this is the group, yeah, para, para aprender. Who else? ¿Quién más anda en motocicleta? Do you know? Who else is in motorcycle? De todo el grupo de nosotros somos varios. Yeah, I didn't know. Felipe, Manuel. Oh, Alonso. Manuel. Manuel, I, I remember he said he had like three motorcycles. So I remember he had a lot of motorcycles. Wow, very interesting. Yeah, actually, no, yeah. No les entiendo, están trabados, cortados. Oh. Están congelados. No te entiendo. Oh. I mean, yo sí lo escucho. I can okay. hear you. Yo sí lo escucho, Miss. Yo creería que es la conexión de Inter. Y mi cámara no la veo trabada todavía. So I, I think it's the internet Hola. connection. Okay. Probably, probably is the internet. Quizás el está. It's breaking a little bit. Well, guys, but that was nice. That was really nice to, to listen to your story. And thank you for sharing that. <laughs> that was very cool. Hmm. Guys, vamos a regresar. We are going to come back. So thank you so much for that. Give me a second. Okay. Give me just a second. Hi guys, and thanks for coming back. Okay, so everybody's coming back here. Miss, no les escucho bien. Miss, me escucha quebrado todavía. Guys, me estoy quebrando. Am I breaking? Yes. Nel. Fuerte claro. Okay, so Wendy, nosotros sí la escuchamos. So yo creería que es el internet. So I think it's your internet. O si está de la computadora. A veces la computadora consume un poco más de, de banda ancha que, que el teléfono. Give me one second. Sorry, I was in mute. Okay, guys. So, thank you so much for coming back. Um, you know, we were like discussing in one of the groups um, 
a little bit about qué es lo que tenían, the different things that you have in your house. <clears throat> there was a very interesting topic that came around that was a question like, is there a motorcycle in your garage? Guys, who has a motorcycle? So I just got to know that Jennifer has a motorcycle. <laughs> Um, uh, Wendy has a motorcycle too, Gerardo and eh, eh, Robert, I understood you got a motorcycle, right, Robert? I understood you got one. So anybody else, guys, can do the motocicleta? Who has a motorcycle? Hi. Okay, so Jorge has, anybody else? I remember Mr. Quintanilla, creo que tenía dos o tres, I don't remember. He says he has like two or three. Nobody else? Two. Two, oh, you get two, okay. Yeah, the thing is that I was telling these guys that very similar to, to Jenny, so I bought a motorcycle, pero todavía no puedo ni andar en ella. So I cannot ride one. So that's why, you know, this uh, topic came um, into, into discussion. So that was like very cool. And, uh, and Wendy suggested, you know, to, to ir a una rodada. So that will be very nice, uh, Wendy. <laughs> Cuando aprendamos, when we learn. Okay. So um, talking about your questions, guys, um, let me listen to some of the questions you came out with, please. So, utilizando the reason that are, well, actually the opposite is there or are there. ¿Puedo escuchar sus preguntas? Can I listen to your questions? Let me go where, I can't escuch ahora. Hola, Mr. Sandoval, hello. Please be careful, be safe. Tenga cuidado, me pone nerviosa a ver cuando las personas van manejando, you know, uh, because I think it's very dangerous. Please be careful. Uh, Christian, help us. Ayúdanos con un par de preguntas, please. Help us with some questions. Hoy. Mm -hmm. um, 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 is there bread in your house? Mm, okay. Is there bread? Is there any bread in your house? Guys, is there any bread in your house? Bread de pan or bread? Eh, bread, right? Mm -hmm. Bread. Is there any bread in your house? Remember, pueden responder de forma corta, yes, there is, no, there, are, no, there isn't, no, there aren't, o amplían mucho más, nos dan más detalles. So, is there any bread in your house? Ulises, is there any bread? Podría yes. responder, podría yes. responder, there is, I like bread. Uh, yes, there is, there uh -huh. is, yes, there is a brand, I like brand. Yeah, your answer is really good. Lo único quizás que yo le agregaría como una palabra para conectar las dos ideas. Eh, ah, ok. Like, yes, um, como, okay. yes, because you know oh, okay. yes because i really like bread or of course i love bread or i always have coffee and bread for example so solamente le agregaría quizás como una palabra para conectarlos y para que no suene como la idea muy separada but of course claro que puede of course you can okay so what type of bread do you like ¿Qué tipo de pan? What type of bread do you like? Integral. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, Wendy. Acabo de ver que me la sacó el internet. Pero gracias por regresar. Thank you so much for coming back. Okay, integral bread. Okay. What about the rest, guys? What type of bread do you like? So, ¿qué, ¿qué tipo de, de, de pan do you like? What type of bread? My favorite bread. Mm -hmm. 
What is your favorite bread? Semita. Oh, okay. Oh. Like some Salvadorian. Is there semita some meat? Is there some meat in your house? Excuse me. Hola, Miss. Ya la escucho. ¿Me escucha? Can you hear me? No le entiendo nada. No entiendo nada de lo que están diciendo. No sé por qué, pero está todo todo como pausado. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah, creería que es el, el internet. Wait. So, pero, ok, no nos escucha. She cannot hear. She cannot hear. Wendy, no eh, ¿está en la computadora? Are you in the computer? Creería que es el internet, pero I'm not sure. Que reinicie el dispositivo, tal vez eso de ser. Mm, yo creo que salió y e intentó ingresar nuevamente, pero todavía le son los problemas. So. I mean, yo sí le escucho. I, I hear you like nicely, mm, pero creo que es hers. Oh, creo que ya salió. Ok. Okay, hopefully she can join us. All right, guys. So let's continue with this. Very nice questions, by the way. Super, super good. Um, now, let's take a look at the following. Tenemos here una breve descripción antes que vayamos para la parte de speaking. So in this description, tenemos read the story and fill in the correct prepositions of place. ¿Cuáles son las prepositions of place? Las que acabamos de ver in, on. Uh, under, above, next to, etc., etc. Recuerden que más de una es posible. No es como um, una respuesta correcta solamente. So, um, we are going to do it together. All right. So, ayúdenme con esta. It says, my room. Come in. This is my room. And I need some volunteers to help me read it. Um, let me go with... Aquí no he escuchado. Jorge, I'm going to take you. Jorge, please, ayúdeme a leerlo. Help me read it. Okay, okay. My room, help me. This is, this is my room. It's very comfortable. The left, you can see my sofa. Thank you. I'm going to, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop you there. Okay, very good. Very good. Exactly. If you check it out, hay un espacio here. There is a little space. Y necesito completarlo con una preposición. ¿Qué palabra podemos ocupar? What word can we use? Dice a la izquierda. On. On. Very good. Exactly. So on the left, you can see my cell phone. Okay. Uh, George, continue, please. I like to sleep. On it. Very good. On it mm -hmm. into the sofa. Mm -hmm. No, 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 you're, you're fine, you're fine. <clears throat> so I like to sleep. Um, ¿Qué puedo utilizar here, guys? In, on, at. I like to sleep. Me gusta dormir como en el sofa. I like to sleep. Mm. Sobre. ¿Cómo decimos sobre? I like to sleep. On. On, exactly. I like to sleep on it. All right. Very good. Eh, luego tenemos tú de sofá. ¿Qué palabra? What preposition va acompañado de to? Okay. Gracias, oh. Wendy. Thank you. ¿Qué, ¿Qué preposición va junto con to? In to, no se puede. On to, tampoco. Next to, uh, sí, pero necesito algo más. So, ¿Cuál va acompañada con to? On the corner to, no se puede. So, what is the, um, hay una que lleva el to. There is one proposition que siempre va acompañada con el to. Creo que la vi. <laughs> I think I said it. 
How would you say a la par? Next to. Mm, okay, so next to the sofa is my table. All right, there we go. Let me listen to another person. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you so much. Mm -mm, Janet, Janet, please, ayude me. Help me out. Eh, con, I prepare, desde acá, I prepare. I, I prepare my lesson here. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of useful things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Y luego tenemos it, all right. So there are a lot of useful things que puedo utilizar acá. In, no. So it says here, there are a lot of useful, I prepare my lessons here. Estamos hablando de la mesa. There are a lot of useful things. On it. On it. Very good. Continue, Janet, please. All uh, my books are on the table. Yes. Very good. My copy books are in... A, a la izquierda. ¿Qué usamos con izquierda, derecha? Any idea? Anybody? Ayúdenme, us, guys. My copy books are... Left. Mm -hmm. Me falta una expresión here. Left. Dos letras. Left. No. Eh, I mean, a la izquierda. Ajá, uh -huh, left. No. Pero me falta algo. Me falta una preposición. In the left, no se puede. What can we use? Hi, William. Morning. Hi, morning. So, a la izquierda, how do you say a la izquierda? My copy books are? Son dos letras. Only two letters. <coughs> By. By the left. Mm, that could work, but no, here. A la izquierda. Ah, Estaban okay. al inicio. En el primer ejercicio que les mostré de preposiciones. <laughs> My copy books are. ¿Cuáles son las dos letras? In no se puede. At the left no se puede. ¿Cuál es la otra? On, on the left. Para on la izquierda the... siempre vamos a usar <laughs> on the left y a la derecha on the right. Ok. Thank you. So my copy books are oh. on the left. Um, Mr. Cruz, please, ayúdeme. Can you continue? Desde acá, de lamp. The lamp. The lamp is on the right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Continue, please. Opposite the, opposite the table is the bookcase mm -hmm. with a lot of books. Um, oh, it, on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. I like to read them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next to the book. Oh, okay, next, next to, to the, very good. Next to, the, next to the bookcase is the computer table where I spend a lot of time. Very good. Okay. All, oh, continue, continue. Yes. All the series are are guys. Are you doing also con esta? All the series are. Or on a special box? Mm, on or in? ¿Cuál sería mejor para una, para una caja? For a box. Uh, in a special box. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Look. Look, look, at a, look at the wall. Very good. Con look utilizamos at. Perfect. Look at the wall. The wall on the computer table. Mm, in the computer table. But, but it's, it's the wall. It's como la pared, right? So la pared y la computadora. ¿Qué posición pueden estar ellas? Between. Oh. Pero between oh. me necesita otra palabra o, u otro Very lugar well. de referencia. Yeah. So any other possibility? Look at the wall. In front. In front. 
Ok, solo que podemos, tenemos que agregarle off también. In front of the computer table, ¿qué otra posibilidad? Atrás, how do you say atrás? Next to the computer behind. table, behind the computer table, exactly, porque es como la pared, right? Ok, good. Y, y el último pedacito, por favor. There are a lot of beautiful posters I like my room. Amazing. Thank you so much, guys. Very, very good. Okay, so this is the description of a place, all right? And I have just a little activity for you today. Um, this is the one we will be doing. Use the reason there are to make sentences. Vamos a utilizar, of course, las que acabamos de ver, on, in, under, between, behind, in front of, or next to. ¿Cuál es la actividad that we're going to do? It says here, what is your favorite place presentation? Vamos a hacer una presentación de 30 segundos, 30 seconds, talking about your favorite place. Select a place you like a lot and describe it. I'm going to leave it super open. Se los voy a dejar abierto. So you can select whatever place you want. Puede ser your house. It can be a specific place. You know, from El Salvador, a touristic place, puede ser un restaurante, un museum, uh, a stadium, un parque, like a little park, eh, un pueblo, like a little town. So whatever place is your favorite, vamos a hacerlo en 30 segundos. Um, ¿Cómo funciona? How does it work? Vamos a desarrollar, guys, un poquito de fluidez with this. No nos vamos a complicar la vida. Vamos a hacerlo bien similar, very similar a lo que acaban de leer. Yeah, so like, um, I'm going to talk about this place. It is very comfortable uh, or it is very colorful. Next to, um, no sé, imagínense que vamos a describir eh, el café talón, you know, para decir uno. So the place is really huge. Okay, ayer veíamos la palabra huge, de grande. So el café talón is huge. There are like two swimming pools, and next to the swimming pools, there are some benches where you can eat, etc. So, no se compliquen la vida buscando palabras raras, please, or um, intentando traducirlo. Comenzamos con there is and there are, y nos vamos con eso. So, ¿cómo lo voy a presentar? Let me talk about, y describen el lugar. Eso es todo. So, hi guys, let me talk about El Café Talo, all right? Let me talk about my favorite place. Let me talk about uh, my favorite town. Let me talk about my favorite beach, okay? So, my favorite beach is El Tunco. In El Tunco, there are a lot of stores where you can buy. There are restaurants and there are some bars. There is music at night. So, si me escuchan, no estoy utilizando vocabulario raro, Diferente, you know, con las palabras que ustedes ya saben, podemos hacer mucho. We can definitely make a lot. Eh, something important is, no intente traducir todo lo que piensan en español a inglés, porque se les va a complicar la vida. Pensamos en, there is, you know, there is, ¿qué hay? There is this, there is that, y así lo vamos armando. Um, les comento 30 segundos, porque lo vamos a medir. <ríe> lo vamos a cronometrar, all right? So, va a ser como 30 segundos, time is over, 30 segundos la siguiente persona, time is over. Eh, so, les voy a dar ahorita 5 minutos, I'm going to give you 5 minutes, para que lo practiquen. Si necesitan escribirlo, do it, alright, escríbanlo, no hay ningún problema. But guys, si ustedes ya saben utilizar este tema, intenten no hacerlo, try not to write it, sino solo de ser posible, vean ahorita su cronómetro, Take a look at your um, stopwatch y mídense si pueden hablar por, de un lugar por 30 segundos. So that would be it, all right? Tienen cinco minutos, no, menos. I'll give you four. <laughs> uh, les doy hasta las 40. I will give you until 40, 740, eh, para que lo practiquen. So you can be ready y luego vamos a escucharlos. We are going to listen to you. So, tienen hasta las 40, guys. Si necesitan ayuda, cómo explicar algo, cómo hacer algo, me dicen. Let me know, please.
One minute, guys. Miss, I have a question. Uh, yes, tell me what is the question. Eh, para decir en frente. In front of. Well, I, de hecho depende. Si hay una en frente, calle. Digamos, en frente de la piscina. Ya, yeah. puede utilizar eh, in front of o puede utilizar opposite. O si hay un, como una calle en medio que la tenga que cruzar, puede también utilizar across from. Las tres ah, estarían bien. Uh -huh. Thank you. Por lo general, cuando hay calle, sí es across from. Uh -huh. Thank you, Miss. You are welcome. Ok. Les doy 30 segundos más. <ríe> I'll give you 30 seconds. Si ya lo escribieron, repítanselo en voz alta. Um, no sé si han visto un meme. I don't know if you have seen a meme que es el inglés de mi cabeza y el inglés que hablo. <ríe> It's because no es lo mismo, you know, pensarlo eh, al momento de decirlo. We, um, nuestro cerebro como tarda un poco más, you know, en mandar las señales hacia nuestro sistema, eh, you know, de speaking. Um, So, eh, siempre que, que practiquemos algo, intenten leérselo también en voz alta para que ustedes se escuchen y se escuchen cómo suenan, you know, y siempre háganse la pregunta, ¿me entiendo? Do I understand myself? ¿Me escucho y me entiendo lo que estoy diciendo? Right? Because that is the idea. So, time is over. Ok, everybody, time is over. This is a 30 seconds talk. Es como una presentación de 30 segunditos, no es larga, it's just to, to listen to you, right? To listen to how you're doing this. And uh, I want to know, ¿tengo algún voluntario? ¿Alguien quiere hacerlo primero? ¿Alguien se sacrifica por el grupo? You know? <laughs> Anybody? I like to choose victims so I can go with victims too. Okay, let me go ahead. Luis, mi, Luis, mi está por aquí. Luis, mi. Maybe not. Okay. Mr. Galicia está de camino. Let me go. Okay, Ulises, I'm going to go with you then. <laughs> So you are going to be my first victim. Thank you so much, Ulises. Gracias por eh, ser el tributo de ahora. <laughs> okay. Now listen up, guys. Son 30 segundos. It's 30 seconds. Lo voy a medir para que todos tengan la oportunidad, you know, to participate. Uh, si le queda tiempo, invéntese algo, you know. Ulises, si, si todavía nos queda tiempo, you finish your description, sigue agregando con there is and there are. O agregue palabras como... Let me think, yeah. Mm, let me think, let me try to remember eh, para que eh, el tiempo corra y no haya como silencio, right? So, guys, vamos a hacer un poquito de improvisación también. We are going to improvise. Y al final de eso se trata, right? De si ya no sé qué decir, me lo invento. So, Ulises, me avisa cuando esté listo. Let me know when you're ready. Ready. Okay, perfect. 30 segundos. It's only 30 seconds. One, two, three. Let's do it. My favorite place. Let me talk about is my room. There is a bed. Under there are a lot of shoes. And in front of oh, there is a TV. Under there is a video game. Mm -hmm. Next to there is a closet. Near, there are chairs. Yes, uh, yes, Ulises, are... very good. <laughs> nice, let me give you an emoji. Guys, the mole emoji is Ulises. Thank you so much. That was a very good description. Okay, 
eh, solamente le vamos a agregar siempre con respecto a aquello, ¿no? So, under, pero debajo de qué, right? Under the bed, under the table. So, lo demás súper bien. Very, very nice. Gracias, Ulises, you know, por representar al grupo, <laughs> you know, uh, proudly. That was really cool. Ulises, um, no voy a seleccionar el siguiente, you know, si no lo van a linchar después. <laughs> okay. Caro, Caro, Jenny, Jenny, you're going to be my next tribute here. Hi, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny. Oh, chicos, si no pueden participar ahora, no se preocupen. No worries. Voy a tomar nota, you know. Because, for example, Luis, ya estamos súper bien. Because for Monday, quien no, quien no lo puede hacer el día de ahora, para el lunes va a tener que preparar una súper descripción, ya que es el último día, too, pero va a ser de un minuto. It's going to be one minute presentation. Así que si pueden hacerlo ahora, mejor hagámoslo ahora. Let's do it today. Jenny, ¿está por acá? Okay, I think no. Eunice, Eunice, ¿está lista? Are you good? Oh, okay. No worries, Jenny. I got it. Thank yes. you. Perfect, perfect. 30 segundos. It's only 30 seconds. Aquí le ayudamos. Ready? My favorite place in the beach, there are palm trees with many coconuts okay. next to the pool. Opposite it is the sea. Okay. Um, Continue, continue. You're doing a nice um, job. So, uh, Lo está haciendo súper bien. Are, mm -hmm. There are many trees. Okay. Restaurants. There is restaurant. Oh, time is over. Okay, nice. Thank you, Eunice. That was nice. So nice, nice. Very good description. That was good. Solamente una palabrita there. Eh, la palabra es sí. Okay. Es como sí. Ah, <laughs> el, el mar, ¿verdad? Lo demás súper sí. bien. Muy buena gramática. Very good intonation. Very nice. That was good. Good, good, good. Okay, volunteers. Tengo alguien más que quiera hacerlo today. Do I have anybody else? Yunis, estamos súper bien. Ulises, sí, no tienes homework for Monday. Ok, very good. Let's do it. 30 segundos. Me avisa cuando esté listo. Ok. Uh, let me talk about uh, my favorite place okay. is Chalatenango. Oh. Because it's a city very cool. Mm -hmm. Also, there is a lot of vegetation, vegetation okay. as well as there is one of the highest place okay. called Alpital. Yes. Um, there are many rivers. There are many very pretty girls with light skin and color eyes. Wow, also, that was beautiful. I'm sorry, I need to interrupt you. But William, that was a beautiful description. Nice. I like me gustan mucho los conectores que utilizo. I like the connectors you use a lot. Like also, as well as, super bien. That's amazing. So guys, tengo tres out. Who else? ¿Quién más quiere hacerlo ahora? Who wants to make the presentation today? Son 30 segundos. Para el lunes son un minuto. <laughs> Anybody else? ¿Alguien más? Mejor ahora, guys. Better today. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Wendy, let's do it. 30 segundos. Me avisa cuando esté lista. Let me know when you're ready. Hasta ya voy, hasta ya voy ahora. Hola. Okay, okay, let's do it. Wendy, ¿me, ¿me escucha? Creo que todavía, sí. no sé si tenemos... Hola. Hola, hola. Yo sí la escucho, Me Wendy. Escucha. I can hear you. Yes, I can hear okay. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let, uh, let me take a boat. Um, my favorite place is the beach. It's 
uh, wonderful to have in front of a beautiful sunset. There is a lot of sun about a beautiful sky. Uh, there is a No, no, there are water. Okay, okay, amazing. Thank you so much, Wendy, and time is over. That was a nice one. I like the vocabulary you use, like sunset and things like those. Okay, sounds amazing. Thank you so much. So we are good, good, good. That was nice. Anybody else? Tengo más voluntarios? Do I have more volunteers? 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds. Next, next, next. Linda, would you like to do it today? Or Mr. Chacon, would you like to, to go for it today? George? Janet? Hi, Mr. Galicia, be careful, please. Robert, would you like to do it today? Les gustaría hacer la presentación today? I need just one more person. I like it, guys. So that means que la vamos a dejar, la vamos a preparar para el lunes. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. So what is going to be your homework? Except Wendy, eh, Ulises, ¿qué más? Junis. And that would be it. Okay. Los demás tenemos una presentación pending. George, ¿quieres hacerla ahora? Do you want to do it today? Okay, okay. All right, perfect. Let's do it. 30 let segundos. Me let, let me think about this. Is my my favorite place is the, the Plaza Mundo. There is okay. there is a gym in, in, in the plaza. <laughs> uh, there are there are many there are many uh, people in the, in the in the place i there there is a supermarket and continue continue and so there are so many people Okay. <laughs> okay, nice. That was good, Jorge. Thank you so much, George, for that presentation. Yeah, that was like very, very cool. Uh, we can also, guys, para expandir nuestro tiempo, podemos incrementar como adjetivos. There is a comfortable, there is a beautiful, there is a dirty, there is a high tech. La veíamos ayer que high tech era para cosas de última tecnología, right? Um, or we can use other words, como los colores, you know, eh, para dar más descripción. So, on Monday, the idea es que lo podamos decir que esta misma descripción la podamos expandir hasta llegar al minuto. Um, I will just give you a little recommendation. No intenten memorizárselo porque no es la idea. That is not the idea. Ahora lo hicieron súper bien. You did it nicely con little preparation. So, for Monday... La idea es que desarrollemos un poquito de fluidez para que vayamos conectando nuestras ideas. Podemos utilizar palabras como en, palabras como also, que significa además, and, uh, eh, y podemos utilizar como because, etc., para que vayamos agregándole más detalles. Tómense el tiempo, por favor, take your time, practiquenlo en voz alta. Eh, y de ser posible, practíquenlo sin, esta, sin memorizarlo, no intenten aprendérselo, sino como, ok, ¿qué hay? Voy a pensar cómo se dice esto en inglés para luego intentar solamente describirlo. That is going to be for Monday. Ok, remember that on Monday tenemos la finalización de módulo, es de carácter eh, necesario, obligatorio, mandatorio, all right, 
que estamos acá porque el día lunes completamos la encuesta de Instaport. So, eh, la encuesta de Instaport es como nuestra finalización diciendo ya terminé este módulo y quedo libre de compromiso. Remember que este es un compromiso que adquirimos con ellos y pues para tener la beca completa necesitamos como mínimo una nota de 8 y como mínimo también asistencia del 80%. Gracias a quienes se nos conectan súper temprano, quienes están acá, you know, com completando every single eh, attendance. Y hablando de attendance, eh, la persona que tiene como la asistencia más alta right now, the highest attendance is, ahorita les digo, let me tell you this is Mr. Quintanilla, sir. Yes, Mr. Quintanilla, very nice job. So, gracias por conectarse súper tempranito. Okay. You have the, the highest attendance, tiene ahorita casi 100%, you have almost 100%. So, thank you so much. Y le sigue, I have the next person is Linda. Wow, thank you, Linda. Thank you so much. That's super cool. So you guys have the highest attendance. Gracias a, a, a quienes también estamos, you know, trabajando, levantándonos súper temprano para esto. Eh, what I'm saying is, eh, hay un control de minuto a minuto, as I said before. Entonces, los demás eh, estamos acá, you know, pero como es contabilizado minuto a minuto, this is why. Eh, ayúdenme con su camarita, porfa. Help me with your camera for just some minutes. Le voy a tomar la asistencia final. Mm, creo que algunos me faltan todavía que me complete la plataforma. Guys, voy a revisar en un par de minutos para eh, indicarles quiénes me hacen falta. So, se lo voy a escribir en privado, por supuesto, para que este fin de semana ya la dejemos súper libre, ¿ok? Y ya no, no estemos como preocupados por ello. ¿Me regalan confirmación, porfa, Cristian? Present, present. Thank you. Junis. Present. Thank you, Gerardo. Well, Gerardo estaba ahí. I saw him some seconds ago. Uh, Present. Helen. Jennifer. Present. Thank you. Jonathan. Present. Thank you, Jorge. Present, present. Roberto. Present. Linda. Present. Thank you so much. Luis, me. Well, let's miss I. Mr. Quintanilla. Present. Oh, yes, yes, está trabajando, I guess. Um, Mr. Chacón. Thank you. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Vanessa. No, I didn't enter. Okay. Wendy. Thank you so much, Mr. Cruz. Present. Oh, de repente escuché una voz bien, bien profunda como la de Ulises. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> Normally, you know, no, no, no memorizamos las voces. So, okay. Didn't hear that before. Mr. Sandoval. Gracias, Mr. Sandoval. Thank you so much. Ya está en el trabajo. Are you at work? Ya en el trabajo a descargar merca ahorita. Wow, con todos los poderes. So enjoy it. Oh, no, 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 no. Eso, okay. Eso, eso, wow. Eso, wow, ok. Sí, también veo a Mr. Galicia que ya va, you know, ready. And Mr. Galicia, you are my last person there. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. Okay, everybody, so listen up. Uh, on Monday, uh, por supuesto, vamos a tomar como la última eh, la foto de grupo. So please be ready. Um, be ready early with your camera. <laughs> that means, vayas a enter un prano, right? So take a shower super early para que podamos tomar la foto de grupo. The final picture. Uh, tenemos on Monday, no, no ahora, <laughs> on Monday, ok, um, what else, lo de la plataforma, en pretty much, eso sería como las últimas actividades that we are going to be having, gracias a todos por estar acá super early, um, ¿qué más, do you have any question for me, tienen alguna preguntita, todo bien con la plataforma, todos tienen acceso, 
Me falta que me completen alguna actividad. Are we missing any activity? Solo yesterday. Roberto, estoy pendiente con usted. No olvidé, eh, no le pude enviar el día de ayer el ejercicio that I, I, I mentioned. Ya se lo envío. I'm going to send it to you in a couple of minutes. So, so guys, si no tenemos preguntas, thank you so much for being here. Eh, Gerardo, me regala un par de minutitos, please. Los demás estamos dismissed. Y nos vemos el día lunes. I'll be seeing you on Monday. Guys, que tengan un excelente fin de semana. Have an amazing weekend. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Bye, bye Robert. Bye, so, ahorita le escribo. Bye-bye. See you, see you. Bye. Okay, deme un minutito solamente. Give me one second, Gerardo. Okay, you're fine. One, two. Okay, there we go. Okay, Gerardo, so thank you so much. Wait. First, primero tengo que agradecerle por lo temprano que estaba acá. <laughs> so, thank you uh -huh. so much for being super early. I was like, no, ni modo. I said before, me va a tocar llamarle. <laughs> no, but no, I'm, no, super, no. I'm super happy you're here. Eh, I'm super happy you're back, you know. And as I said yesterday, yo sé que a veces cuesta, you know, levantarse temprano. But I'm pretty sure su inglés es muy bueno. Your English is really good. You got the vocabulary, you have the practice. Solo es como de, de, de esforzarse y presionarse, you know. So you have to push yourself. Eh, lastimosamente no, no pudimos tener este one-on-one -on -one before, but eh, I want mm -hmm. to take advantage of this. And, and I would like to know, eh, Gerardo, if you have like, si tiene como un objetivo a corto plazo. Do you have eh, an objective que lo quiere completar like super, super fast? O dentro de poco tiempo, pues, like in a short mm. time. Pues con el inglés creo que no, porque necesito aprender un poco más realmente. Necesito practicar más, porque eso es lo que pasa. Es que como no hay mucho tiempo para poder practicar con otras personas, ¿verdad? Porque uno hay veces que quiere hacerlo, pero como con otras personas es mejor para poder Por supuesto. saber uh -huh. si está pro progresando, ¿no? Yes, that's right. Yeah, um, sometimes por el tiempo, sometimes because it's un poco difícil encontrar a una persona que tenga como el mismo objetivo, right? The same objective we do. All right, pero cuando cuando me refiero a short term, como um, eh, a corto plazo, so I'm talking about okay. So I'm talking about, um, como por ejemplo, seis meses, siete meses. No necesariamente short term de ahora mañana, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. So, usted mencionaba anteriormente que había estudiado inglés. So, mm -hmm. eh, uh, es el estudiar inglés, ¿qué tipo de oportunidades you think le va a traer? Varias, ¿Está varias, considerando varias. cambiarse de empleo o viajar? O, ¿Cuál es el main objetivo? Pues la principal es cambiar de, de trabajo. Pues. Ok. So, ¿En cuánto tiempo se ha proyectado? How much time? Pues la vez pasada hablábamos de un año. Por ejemplo, de aquí al otro año, como a mediados de año, ya poder decir que, que puedo aplicar a otro lugar. ¿no? Cool. Now the question is, um, because yo sé que, um, que well, lo, lo he sentido como, probablemente no es motivado, sino que como un poco away. <laughs> so the question is, ¿qué ha estado haciendo estos días, you know, para trabajar en su objetivo? What have you been doing? Vaya, yo creo que lo que más me cuesta es eso, lo de estar activo en la, en la mañana porque por ejemplo en, en el transcurso del día eh, yo tengo una página de cómo se llama de bueno hay un hay un hay una página en, en YouTube de una maestra que enseña inglés entonces seguido la estoy viendo okay. o si no trato, trato la manera de, de escuchar bastante música en inglés y leer la letra y aprenderme 
como las cosas que dicen. Yeah, como... because I think your vocabulary is good and your listening is fine, you know, your listening is, is really good. So creería que solamente es la parte de speaking a la que tiene que presionarse, you know, that you have to push yourself to make it. Okay, so we were talking about these uh, places in town, que es como el tema que hemos estado revisando. So um, imagine, for example, imagínese que va a ser like the little presentation. So, ¿cómo me presentaría your favorite place? Tell me about your place. Uh, my favorite place is uh, uh, Spino Beach. Oh, I have never been there. Describe the, the beach for mm. me, please. Maybe you convince me to uh, go. <laughs> okay. It's in Usulatan department. department. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot of clean mm -hmm. because I don't any, no. Se puede decir I don't any, no, verdad? Porque mm -hmm. ya está utilizando el. el ¿Qué quiere como, decir? What do you want to say? Como no hay muchas piedras. There is, there isn't any, or there aren't there any. Is, okay, there Pero isn't any. Solo recuerde que any es ninguna. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, there is a lot of... Uh, okay. Stone. Oh, there are, okay, there are a lot of stones. Okay. okay. There, are, there, are, there are a lot of stones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there are a um, lot of people uh, okay. in vacation. Okay. What about like restaurants a... or diners or places where you can eat? Tell me about the, like tourism. Is is much uh is much uh como se llama? Cabañas? Like little huts, like little huts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of part of the beach is mm -hmm. a private. Ah, no, no okay. A, it is not ah, for ah, people. It is not public. Uh, yes, ah, it's not public. Beach. Okay. Are there beach houses? Como ranchitos? Yes. Are there beach houses? Yeah. Ah. A, a lot of beach oh, houses. Oh, okay. But private, private beach houses. What is private? Privado, private. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. A lot of, a, a lot of part of the beach is private. Oh. The other part uh -huh. is is public because, but uh, it's a, a a little bit mm -hmm. part. Yeah. Okay, but but you said that there are there are a lot of stores. Right? I mean, a lot of stones. Yeah. Like, very similar to El Tunco or less no. stones? I don't have. Uh, oh, much, there are uh, many. Stone. There are uh, many stones. Oh, yeah. okay. Now, what about the beach? Is the beach peaceful? Is the beach quiet? Or are there a lot of waves? A lot of parts is uh, what is the, the quiet 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 uh-huh uh-huh quiet okay um, you can to walk uh, in grand part Ay, nice okay um, yeah so it, it is it, not it's a good uh -huh. so it is not like el mahawal that you go a little <laughs> and then no, lo revuelca it's, and then <laughs> it's a big difference Oh, okay. Why do you like El Espino? Because in El Salvador, we have a lot of beaches. So you have in La Costa del Sol, you know, you have La Libertad. But why specifically the, the El Espino? In a, specific, in a specific because I like the clean of the beach. Uh, so there is no garbage? Is not much. Oh, okay. The, 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 the people, uh, como que comprende, allí, es <laughs> como no es muy público, ¿verdad? People understand, people respect, let's say, people respect yeah. the environment. Yeah. 
Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it sounds very similar to um, to el cuco. It sounds like el tuco, el cuco dish. That there are not it's, much. It's it is near to the cuco. Really? Because the cuco is in San Miguel. Yes. The Parmer. En el espino. El espino es en Osulu también. Okay. Uh, it's near. Mm -hmm. I, near, I, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to be oh. honest with you, I have never been there. You, you need to visit the beach. Yes, some people recommended El Espino to me. That's why I was asking you about that. So probably my next vacation, next year. <laughs> no, but that sounds good. That sounds really, it's really a, nice. It's a long travel, mm -hmm. but... It's, it is worth it. Vale la pena. Yeah, it is worth it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Gerardo, you are doing a very nice job. So, <laughs> la descripción es super buena. Your, your description is really good. Tiene el vocabulario. You get the grammar. Solamente es como de, de ir organizando las ideas para agarrar fluidez, right? Para que sea como un poco más, eh, más like this. Pero super bien, very, very nice. So, creo que esta foto es de ahí. No sé si ver, está... Let me see. No. Oh my God. You know, I love photography. I really like photography. So I'm like, no, tengo que ir. <laughs> I need to Pero go. Esa, esa foto es, es, es como, hay unas partes donde hay piedras, pero son piedras grandes, no son pequeñas. Entonces, usted puede ver como se puede sentar en ella, pero de ahí lo demás es como bien limpio, bien, no, no hay muchas piedras así como aquí en, en el puerto de la libertad, cosas así. Solo es roca. Ajá. Ajá. En esas piedras son como quizás así, unas tres así en, 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 en todo el espacio, entonces usted se sienta y cool. ahí se toma foto. Wow, that sounds nice. And I, I like photography, so yeah, I need to go. <laughs> so thank you for yeah. sharing that picture. Sounds great. Okay, so, um, well, Gerardo, solamente le, le dejo por acá la invitación. I'm going to leave your, uh, the invitation here. No se dé por vencido tan pronto, you know. Eh, okay. Yo sé que va a costar tal vez la hora, pero, pero metale ganas, you know. So you know a lot. I mean, usted ya tiene como un camino bastante avanzado with the vocabulary part y que es lo más difícil sometimes. Perder el miedo y pues el vocabulary. Así que lo invito, you know, eh, lo espero el día lunes. Hope to see you on Monday, 6 a.m. <laughs> a las 6 de la sí. mañana, all right? Y, y, y nada, thank you so much. Gracias por conectarse ahora. Nos vemos el lunes. I'll be seeing you on Monday. Nos vemos. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.